basis, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's great to see you guys again. We're gonna do a clothing declutter today. I'm donating a whole bunch of my clothes because it's the season of giving. And also because I want an excuse to buy new things and do more thrifting, <laughs> even though I have absolutely no need for more clothes. So I'm gonna show you some stuff that I'm getting rid of, either it's stuff that doesn't fit me, or I'm kind of saving it around for like when I lose weight, which is never going to happen, or it's stuff that just doesn't really suit me that I ordered online and then was too lazy to walk to the post office to return. If you're wondering what on God's green earth I'm wearing right now, it is a tunic that I bought from Uniqlo. Tuniqlo, or Unic. <laughs> and I like it because it makes me look like an art teacher at an upscale like Montessori school or otherwise private school. Waist? We don't know her. Shape? Sensuality? Left the chat. First item on the chopping block. So this is first. This is this like ribbed turtleneck dress that I bought at Old Navy in like the midsummer. I don't think this suits me at all and I don't know what witchcraft was happening in the dressing room that made me think that I looked like good in it. I don't know. Disclaimer time. Hi guys, it's me editing Misa in my Ariana Grande sweatshirt, my Ariana Grande makeup, my Ariana Grande high ponytail, my Ariana Grande natural tan. Um, so I just want to mention that like when I say that like something doesn't look good on me, I mean like it just doesn't suit me. Not that I am ugly or that my body is bad. Like obviously I'm like like bust down Nisiana. Like I look good, obviously. Like you can see me. Okay, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the video. First of all, I really hate mock neck shirts and dresses and anything. I like just a full turtleneck, you know, commit to the role, commit to the neck coverage. I don't like the sort of like imaginary turtleneck that just kind of looks like your shirt is already tugged down a little bit. I also hate ribbed jersey. I think it makes everything look super cheap. Like, uh, it, it's like fine. Also, I don't like wearing sleeveless turtleneck or mock neck things with sweaters. I feel like it looks extremely matronly, like very librarian-esque. No offense to librarians, there is some hot and sexy librarians in your area probably. It literally still has the tag on it. She's gone. Okay, this is something that I have very clearly outgrown. This is a black maxi dress with a little bit of like lattice strappy work in the back. This is originally from Target, but I swear I've had it for a full decade. And it makes me really sad because this used to be like the maxi dress I owned. It was just this. And I loved it. And anytime I wanted to look like, you know, attractive, I would put this dress on. I have obviously like, uh, grown it to a degree. I just don't think it looks very good on me anymore, you know what I mean? She's getting chopped. She's getting cutthroat kitchened. Okay, I don't have any defense for this at all. I don't know what was going through my head when I bought this. This was thrifted. I got this at Buffalo Exchange. It's originally from Torrid. I don't know. I had just gotten accepted to grad school. I think I was feeling invincible and that I could wear anything. And for some reason, anything included like, I don't know, picnic blankets? What is this? Who can pull this off? You know who could pull it off though? <laughs> Chris Evans, he could pull it off me anytime. Yes! There's a lot of issues at play here. I'm wearing a brassiere with this dress. This is the kind of thing that you wear without a bra, obvi. The reason I bring this up is because when I wear this without a brassiere, the boingos go from here to like here. There is someone out there who can wear this dress with a pair of like espadrille wedges and perchance a straw hat and just serve everybody Anne of Green Gables realness, but that person is not me. Okay, wait a minute. No, this makes me look wider than I am from the side. You see what I'm saying? And I'm really weird about like culottes. I have to wear them with heels or else I will not wear them, which is just an inconvenience, honestly. It is really fun to have something that is just one garment that I can stuff into. But like, there are other bodysuits that exist in the world. This was thrifted as well, I think. It's originally from Target, but I got it, I think also at Buffalo Exchange. I hate this one. This is from Torrid. This doesn't suit me. It's too tight up here. I feel like a goth doily. Like it just slides up and the sleeves are too short. It makes my shoulders look broader than they are. It makes my arms look chubbier than they are. And I have like cuter, sexier little black dresses to wear. Like this is something I would have worn as a child to someone else's first communion because I'm not Catholic. We have this little flouncy little skirt moment. I've had this skirt and this one in the exact same style but a different print for like five or so years at this point. I was definitely still in college when I bought this. They're from like Forever 21. I think I'm gonna get rid of them. Honestly, I don't wear them that often because they're like such a production. Like they're so big and flouncy. They're very much a special occasion garment. I'm just not that interested 
interested in these more like twee style skirts at this stage of my life. Also, you know, the waistband is a little tight on my like waist fat. You know, I've definitely gained some weight over the past couple of years. I think it's time. This isn't going anywhere. This isn't even a tube top. This is the bottom half of a dress that didn't look good on me. Cut it in half. Now it's a tube top. <laughs> Upcycling. Take notes, bitch. That's going. This is going too. Let's put on a different skirt. Okay, so this looks like a normal denim skirt, right? But we back it up a little bit. This my short. This is a really small skirt. I'm very tall. I'm six feet tall. 5'11 on Tinder. Uh, no. I wore this like one time this summer and I had to like pause every five steps to be like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I didn't flash all of the children at Target with their parents. Like, no, I have a different denim skirt actually that fits me like a glove. So this is the denim skirt on the chopping block. This is the denim skirt we are keeping. Girl, this was thrifted. This was from either Buffalo Exchange or Goodwill. I think it's originally from like Ann Taylor. Great length. I like wear this to work on occasion. I'm obsessed with the skirt. This makes an appearance in my wardrobe at least like once a week. <laughs> and it has been for the past like six or so months I've owned it. I'm deeply in love with it. It's not going anywhere and I plan on keeping this for a long time. And so because we have this, that other skirt can leave. I was trying to rhyme but I couldn't think of anything that worked. Okay, this next one is actually a huge disappointment because I haven't had this skirt that long but I've already made the executive decision that I don't need to own it anymore. This is from Forever 21 Plus. It's a little bit of like a suede e style moment. The issue with the skirt is entirely in fit. It's too big around my waist. It does not sit up on my waist and it's too tight on my hips. So when I try to like sit down in it, it like hikes itself up and I sit in like an office chair all day. So that's a problem for me. If I knew how to take clothes in, I would be golden. Bars. This next one is where the clownery really jumps out. This is another skirt, okay? Let's just put it on our body. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes when I boot up Beyonce's internet. I just be buying like things and garments with no concern for what environment I'm gonna be wearing in it. Bro, I don't know what kind of Fifty Shades of Grey themed costume party I was wearing this goddamn skirt to, but it certainly wasn't to my job. I just like, I feel like I'm a little bit too hippolicious for this garment. Just bodycon skirts in general, I'm not super comfortable wearing them around like my office, you know? Like I'm not gonna, like the cakes, they look okay, you know? Like, they look good. I just like don't see myself wearing this anywhere, you know what I mean? It's just like not me. So she's gone. Yeah, you stay just and fierce. Where will they go from here? Where will they stop? I try to say goodbye and I choke, try to walk away and I stumble. We're really glossy. We got the Urban Decay heat gloss on right now, baby. I love that close up of Britney's mouth at the beginning <laughs> of Oops, I did it again. It's just like full gloss. Mm, yeah. I think I did it again. What the hell? Why did I buy this? It's ugly. This look bad. I don't know. I got it in October. I thought it'd be like a cute thing to wear to work. For Halloween spooky time. I don't know. I just like so vibe with her. It's so thin. It's from Forever 21, so like of course it is. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I'm chubby so I can't wear horizontal stripes. I'll wear a goddamn horizontal moving stripe, okay? But like sometimes, sometimes it actually is kind of unflattering on me. I know, I know the body positivity community, we don't like the U word, okay? What does flattering even mean? This is like not, it doesn't do anything for me. You know what I'm talking about? It doesn't do anything for me. We don't like you, you're canceled. Why do I go to malls ever? Why do I ever go anywhere that sells clothing if I'm gonna make decisions like this? This is from Old Navy. It's too large for me but only kind of. In that, you can see my stomach flab in it. It's there, it's front and center like it is most of the goddamn time. It's a fine length on me, like it goes just about to my knees, but like up here, it's like too wide. It's for someone with shoulders even more broad than mine are. And so it's just like, it's like, it makes me look like larger up here, draws the eyes up and out. And she got cap sleeves. She got cap, ooh, ooh, if you, Oh, there's just one way to steam me up. Steam me right the heck up. Oh, caps, I hate cap sleeves. Oh, you make, you about to make me do it. Oh, you. 
So I think there's someone out there who could probably get a lot better use out of this dress than me. The only times I wore this this summer was underneath a denim jacket. And I think that says everything I need to say. We got one more thing left, my guy. This seems like a normal little chambray button up, right? I got it at Buffalo Exchange. I was doing a little bit of thrifting. I don't like chambray. I don't really wear shirts like this, but here's the goofy way that I was like, oh, I know how to style this shirt. Let me just show you real quick. Let me just do it like this. I thought I was having a little bit of like an Instagram baddie moment, you know. It's been a trend for a while to wear a button up shirt like this for some goddamn reason. Who is doing all this? This is so stupid. I look like a five year old. And also there's like a seam like right here across my arm. So I can't even like, I feel like a T-Rex. And someone who is actually the size of this shirt could own it and, oh, oh God, oh my God. Could actually own it and wear it and look cute in it, but not right now, cause it's just lying on the floor of my closet, waiting for me to wear it like an asshole. I look like someone who was wearing a regular size shirt and then got hit with a shrink ray. Like this is, this is ridiculous. All this stuff, all this, It's gone. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. But before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be thrifty. And if you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Nisi Pisa. I also have a second channel called Extra Nisi Pisa that I will link in the description where I post music and covers sometimes. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to use code Nisi Pisa for 10% off at your local unflattering clothes store. Bye.